Sun worship has always been the center for Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. It all goes back to India. It's a, it's a, it's a strange, incredible story. And when you think about the Germans, uh, they were sub worshippers also. And, and then with the rise of Adolf Hitler, uh, they, they, they personified the sun, uh, as a swastika. Because we know, everybody knows the swastika was a sun symbol. And so, well, if they were connected to Judaism, which which the uh, German people were, and the Germans were already sub-worshippers, well, so were the Jews. They were worshipping the sun. But they said, that, that to cover it up, they said, the Jews said, that the name of God is too holy for us to use. So we don't want to use his name, uh, you know, in, in, in everyday speech because his name is too holy. And so we will have a substitute name. And the substitute name is on all the altars of Jewish synagogues all over the world. Any synagogue you will see has a round circle of a yellow sun with the sun burst. And inside the sun on the altars of any uh, synagogue you will see four letters, which is translated tetragrammaton. Tetra is four, gramma is a letter, and A-T-O-N, the aton, is a sun god in Egypt. So it's Tetra Gramma Aton. So the Jews were worshippers of the Tetra Gramma Aton, but his name is so important that we can't use his name, so we just call it Tetra Gramma. No, Tetra Gramma Aton. Look up A T O N. It's the old ancient sun god of the Jews. And and in and in Germany it's a swastika. And that's why today in Israel there are there are synagogues in Israel today. Go on the web and type it in to look and see the pictures on the on the uh, image. Uh, look up Jewish swastika, and it will show you synagogues uh, in in Israel that have big red swastikas on the floor, just like the Nazis. Why? Because it's all connected behind the scenes that you didn't know anything about. Japan, the, the, the Jewish symbol for their god was the sun. The Jewish symbol for the sun was a tetragrammaton or the swastika. The swastika can also be made out of Jewish letters. There's a connection between Jewish swastikas and Nazi swastikas, the German people, my God, there is a story here. You are not going to believe once you sit down and start researching this subject and spend a couple of months just looking at the basic concept and you will see there's a bare, there's a very ancient and old connection that's been well hidden because of the, between the Jewish religion, the Nazi party, the communist party of the Soviet Union, and the, all of the uh, of what we call terrorism going on throughout the world. Something very big is happening on the earth, and we haven't got the faintest idea in the world what is going on. You better wake up. The world is not what you thought it was. Judaism, Christianity, and Islam are nothing more than ancient, basic ancient religions worshiping the pagan gods of ancient India. It's an incredible story of the betrayal of the human race.